Narrative consultation companies are actively ruining the video game industry, and there are hundreds of thousands to millions of gamers who are boycotting companies like Sweet Baby Inc. And now the rumor is that the Wukong devs rejected $7 million extortion from DEI consultant. So this is just a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt, but it would not surprise me at this point to hear that these companies are, yes, reaching out to development groups, trying to tell them, hey, listen, your game is not diverse enough or inclusive enough. It just doesn't reach their standards for what they think video games should be. And now, according to a journalist on the Chinese social media platform Weibo, Black Myth Wukong, which is a game coming out in August that a lot of people are very excited for, is experiencing a harassment campaign from Western critics and journalists after rejecting offers from DEI consultants. So there's two things that I like about this story if this rumor turns out to be true. The first thing is that it continues to expose the dirty, disgusting underbelly of these so-called consultancy firms. The more we keep getting a picture of what these companies actually do, the more we get to understand and see that these people are not what they claim to be. They claim to be inclusive unless you're straight. They claim to be all for diversity unless Unless you're white. The more exposure, the more the cracks start to show. And soon, there will be no place left for them to hide. And then the second thing that I love about this is game science not bending the knee and standing ten toes down. In a world where companies are more than willing to slob on the knob of DEI, for game science to stand up and refuse to be intimidated or coerced and stare evil in the face and say, Games such as Stellar Blade shouldn't exist in today's climate. This is further proof to show you, dear gamer, that the tide is turning and that the pendulum is about to start swinging the other way. And the sooner that happens, the sooner we can get back to some semblance of normalcy. But for now, we have to suffer IGN's pitiful attempt at professional journalism. How Black Myth Wukong developer's history of sexism is complicating its journey to the West. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But beneath the luster of this Souls-like studio is a studio plagued by claims of sexism. Several posts have surfaced on Chinese media site written by individuals from the studio that contain multiple references to genitalia and innuendo. This has provoked backlash about some people in the games community, many of whom are women. This is the most retarded article I've ever read in my life. Context. IGN published an article trying to smear the company and the devs behind Black Myth Wukong as some sexist freaks because of some of their employees' social media posts. The article cites one of their artists who basically did the still wood meme about this monster. The problem is that this game journalist, either by sheer incompetence or malice, completely mistranslated all of these posts and added words to them in the most uncharitable way possible. And this is nothing compared to the most egregious mistranslation after one of the game company founders posted this in 2020, apologizing for the lackluster trailer of Black Myth Wukong just released. Now how on earth do you get? I want to expand my circle and hire more people. Get licked until I can't get an erection. <laughs> In reality, the actual translation completely changes the meaning of what he was saying. Not satisfied, I went back checking if anyone called this out when it happened, and they did. In the eyes, oh here we go, IGN spoke to several women familiar with gaming culture, as well as the games and technology industry in China, many of whom requested to be anonymous for fear of backlash from fans of game science. In the eyes of many female gamers, has a notably negative reputation. Citation fucking needed. You can see how this person is trying desperately to avoid a defamation lawsuit, plagued by claims of sexism. Some in the games community, many of whom are women, in the eyes of many female gamers. So every single statement that's made is made with a qualifier that basically avoids legal liability. Well guys, I was already gonna buy the game, but I think now I might have to buy it twice. You see, this is why. This is why we can't have nice things, Barry. You asked. Finally. Finally. 
got an update about the Wonder Woman game from Warner Brothers ahead of Summer Game Fest. And of course, it's bad news. Things apparently still aren't going well for Wonder Woman. Famous media personality and CEO of Kinda Funny, Greg Miller, dropped a scoop on his popular gaming podcast, revealing that a source reached out to him and told him things with the Wonder Woman game were troubled. Maybe that is WB and David Zaslav and like everything being canceled, but I think also maybe it's a good time just announce or, you know, reshow Wonder Woman. Show something. Show something, yeah. Show signs of life. I don't know. I, you know, here you go. You want it? You want it? You mm -hmm. want the exclusive? Do, I'll give you my Jeff Grubb information, all right? Oh. In the past year, because <laughs> I'll leave it ambiguous, I have talked to an insider who was like, this game's trouble. That's it. That's Wonder all I'll Woman. say. Yeah. So I don't hold out hope that it's in a place to show something. So Wonder Woman is in a troubled development state. And uh, for what it's worth, since there are people going around, I mean, there are rumors going around that the game might actually be in danger of being cancelled. I don't think that's going to happen. I think best case scenario is that the game will probably take a little bit longer until it actually comes out. But I don't think they're going to cancel it. But if they do cancel it, I would say that would be a massive W on Warner Brothers' part because it means that they looked at the product, they saw the product, and they were like, this thing is not up to our standard. So rather than wasting $200 million on a game that might be a flop or a game that's not going to recoup its costs let's just not do it the old if you don't give it your best then just don't do it type of attitude i rock with that my nigga <laughs> well i'm gonna land and then i'm gonna go plus ultra uh. <laughs> in your pants <laughs> wow another enemy defeated get out of our lobby you scum uh. <laughs> that's a bonus so cringe oh i love it oh pause To this day! To this day! Ubisoft sent a special Assassin's Creed statue to streamers in Japan. It did not go well. Why not? What'd they do wrong? Context. People are collectively roasting Ubisoft after they sent these special edition statues to Japanese streamers. Unfortunately, Ubisoft forgot that these people can actually read Japanese, and the streamers that received it were quick to point out how these strange symbols made no sense. Come on now, doll. Come on, man. But why would anyone be surprised about this when this is the expert in Japanese history that they hired for the game? Uh, historian for a consultant about this game. My first book, Tales of Idealized Boys, Male Male Love in Medieval Japanese Narratives, which is often depicts romantic relationships between Buddhist priests and at- Oh my god, do people keep complaining over getting free shit? I don't think people are complaining about it being free shit. The reason why people are mad about this is because it's another example of a bunch of white people getting together and thinking that they're doing minorities a favor by turning them into cartoon versions of themselves and not treating them like real people. They have no actual appreciation or intrinsic respect for the culture that they're trying to appropriate and turn into a marketing vehicle. They don't actually care care about the minorities. They don't actually give a shit about diversity. Here, Ubisoft development team. It's all white people. It's all white people. And so I think people are tired of having people like that make a fucking video game under the false pretense of virtue. They can't even get it right. Like they can't even correctly appropriate the culture. And then Yosuke is in combat with the boss and it starts playing this hip hop theme. Like, oh yeah, because black people like hip hop. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know who thinks that? A group full of completely fucking white developers that has no actual interactions with minorities, and they're sitting there, and they're thinking, oh, they'll like this. He's not even African-American. Exactly. But guys, what do you expect from a company that sets an Assassin's Creed game in Japan and then has a black person star as one of the one of its protagonists and then of course goes even further to make sure that he's gay and then to put the icing on top, they add hip hop battle themed music. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. I mean guy, Ubisoft, you could have hired an expert man to help you out with the kanji. Why couldn't you do that? I don't I don't know. You wanna know why they couldn't do that? Because they don't care. They don't appreciate the culture. But you know what? I don't think they've gone DEI enough. What they have to do now is make sure that the only way that Yasuke gets his health back is to make sure that he eats fried chicken and watermelon. <laughs> if they do that, 
If they do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are a year later. And Nick Merckx, during 2024 Pride Month, is going viral for his comments on his Elden Ring stream. Again! Nick Merckx goes in on trans people. There's no such thing as trans people. That shit's not even real. Let's watch. Nick, the transphobe struggling yeah. against the trans gay. There's no such thing as trans people. That's something that you created. So have fun with your little dreamland. But that shit's not even real. Let me break it down for you, right? Penis? Dude. Vagina, girl, done. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. Twitch streamer Nick Mark slammed for saying there's no such thing as trans people. And of course, we had a mountain, an avalanche of people. A lot of people with pronouns in their bios. A lot of these big, important people in the gaming space saying it's so embarrassing. He shouldn't be allowed to say something like that. He needs to get deplatformed. That is not okay. Nick Merckx is such a stupid and bigoted cunt. Trans people have existed long before he sadly slid out of this world. This is the most fucking asinine take ever. LMA, you bitches were trying to tell that shit last time. It wasn't a dog whistle. Fuck this homophobic piece of shit, Nick Merckx. <laughs> and if y'all still enable him fuck you too it's really what it's all about right silence is violence uh nick Merckx didn't stay silent after this clip he immediately responded to a ton of people nick Merckx going after the haters somebody saying uh responding to the tweet i showed hey smarty pants you seem really smart answer this one for me what is a woman? Don't you find it interesting how the most loving community on the face of the planet is also the same one that makes it illegal for you to hate them? Interesting. In issues that concern woke ideology, most video game developers would rather keep their mouth shut rather than being in danger of losing their jobs. He ain't lying. It's almost as if each and every single day, the United States inches closer and closer to a North Korean-ish dystopian future. I mean, the resemblance is striking. It's uncanny. The silencing, not being able to criticize or there will be consequences, the extortion. I don't think it's a stretch to say that the United States is currently the elite version or the discounted version of premium North Koreanism, you know? The Coke Zero of North Koreanism. So how do we fight back? Well, that's very simple. In the Bible, Jesus says we are the salt of the earth. Now, salt is used as a preservative to keep meat and food from spoiling. So as Christians, we are called to preserve that which is good, that which is righteous, that which is true, and that which is pure, and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. That is the only way that we can fight back. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> anyway, as usual, Thank you, you awesome, fantastic people for tuning in and for uh, liking and subscribing and supporting my content, giving my life a bit of meaning. Remember, stay frosty and VWIW. Vote with your wallet.